Hey guys, it's me, Ingenerea. Hello to all of safety officers. For those who want to enroll in safety officer training, you can check this post of CONSAFE Construction Safety Trainer and Consultant. They have a promo for Bosch, Kosh, and LCM with Hira. For today's video, we are going to talk about basic principles of industrial hygiene. So, let's start our discussion. Objective this topic addresses the need and importance of knowing the concept in hazard identification, the many types of hazard that may exist in the workplace, and the various elements of an effective hazard control program. At the end of this topic, you will be able to, to recognize and identify hazard in the workplace, to recognize how hazard can control, and the last is to know the three steps to approach the industrial hygiene. Let's have an introduction to industrial hygiene. Cleanliness is fundamental to safety. However, cleanliness by itself falls short as the basic consideration for the safety of a workplace. It is important to be able to recognize the hazards that may exist in the workplace given the nature of the activity or activities. To attain a safe and healthful workplace requires an overall viewing of all the elements therein such as the environment, the equipment, the materials, and the interaction of the workers in the performance of the tasks required and only then can the hazards be recognized which is primarily a part of solving the problem of the existence of hazards. What is Industrial Hygiene? Industrial hygiene is the science and art devoted to the anticipation, recognition, evaluation, and control of those environmental factors and stresses arising in or from the workplace which may cause sickness, impaired health, and well-being or significant discomfort and inefficiency among workers or among the citizens of the community. It is also the control of hazards to acceptable limits. When it comes to workplace, it classifies according to size, which is small, medium, or large. Next is location or site, indoor, outdoor, land-based, water, or area. And the last is type of economic activity, which is three economic sectors. The three economic sector is... First, agriculture, fishery, and forestry. Second, industry. And the last is services. The second economic sector is industry. Under industry, we have mining, manufacturing, electricity, gas, water, and construction. The third economic sector is services. Under services, we have wholesale and retail trade, hotels and restaurants, transportation, financial, real estate, public administration, education, health and social work, and the last is other community. The objectives of industrial hygiene are to reduce the incidence and mortality of the occupational disease, to provide a logical and systematic method to evaluate objectively the problem as they are recognized, to develop methods of control, to improve working condition and ensure the safe and health of workers. Why industrial hygiene is important? Based on Bureau of Labor Statistics, 5 of every 100 workers will suffer an illness or injury from work. That's why industrial hygiene is essential because it helps to protect employees from several types of injuries and illnesses. What does an industrial hygienist do? An industrial hygienist plays an essential role in ensuring employee safety and health in the workplace. Industrial hygienists are certified experts in the identification, evaluation, and control of the workplace hazards. 
The role of the industrial hygienist is to solve occupational health problem by a three-step approach, recognition, evaluation, and control. Next is act as a liaison between the medical group and actual production or service people. We have three steps to approach the industrial hygiene. First is anticipation and recognition. Second is evaluate. And the last is control. Anticipation is involves identifying potential hazards in the workplace before they are introduced. Recognition involves identifying the potential hazard that a chemical, physical, or biological agent or an adverse ergonomic situation possess to health. Hazard is any source of potential damage, harm, or adverse health effects on something or someone under certain conditions at work. Risk is the chance or probability that a person will be harmed or experience an adverse health effect if exposed to a hazard. We have four main types of hazards. First is physical, second chemical, third biological, fourth is ergonomics. The example for physical hazards are extreme noise, extreme heat, insufficient or excessive illumination, too much vibration, and the last is radiation. The example for chemical hazards are dust, mist, fumes, pavors, and gases. The example for biological hazards are bacteria and viruses, fungi, and other microorganisms and their associated toxins. The example for ergonomic hazards are repetitive motion, prolonged exertion of the hands, heavy lifting, pushing, pulling of heavy objects, and the last is static posture. For this type of hazards, um, I will be doing a separate vlog for this topic. Just stay tuned on my YouTube channel. In recognition, we have workplace inventory such as raw materials. Under raw materials, we have composition, psychochemical properties, quantities, labels and safety data sheet, and the last is threshold limit value. Next is equipment, machine, tools, and the last is operation. Under operation, we have processes, activities, process hazard analysis, and the last is assessment of potential hazard associated with an industrial process. The second step to approach the industrial hygiene is evaluate. Evaluate is the extent of exposure to chemical hazards, physical, or biological agents in the workplace. Evaluation methods First is qualitative, plant or walkthrough or ocular survey. The second is quantitative, it is sampling and analytical program. It is use of industrial hygiene measuring instruments. In evaluate, we have work environment measurement. It is sampling and analysis carried out in respect of the atmospheric working environment and other fundamental elements of the working environment for the purpose of promoting and maintaining the health of its workers. The last step to approach the industrial hygiene is control. The chemical, physical, or biological agent or adverse ergonomic situation by procedural engineering or other means where the evaluation indicates that this is unnecessary. We have three categories to control the hazard. First is engineering control, second administrative control, third is personal protective equipment. Engineering control is to eliminate or reduce the hazard through initial design specification, substitution, isolation, ventilation, and the last is change of process. The second category is administrative method. It is to control employees' exposure, schedule reduced work hours, increase breaks, standard operating procedure, isolation, medical exam, and the last is workplace. 
The third category is personal protective equipment. It is to use a protective barrier to protect the worker. For this topic of categories to control the hazard, I will be doing also a separate blog for this topic to elaborate more. Just stay tuned on my YouTube channel. In summary, practice of industrial hygiene principle equals to safe work environment and safe and healthy workers. A means of protecting the workers through improvements of the work environment. The preventive approach to eliminate or minimize the occurrence of occupational diseases. Before we end, please do support my YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button and click also the notification bell for more update videos. This is the end of our topic for today. I hope you guys learned something new about this topic. If you have any questions about this topic, just comment down below or message me through my Facebook page and I'll try my best to answer it. Thank you for watching it. Bye!